Yo, 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 Glue Girls Nation, back at you with some more burgers today, okay? Have a lot of fun with this one. Coming in the springtime, ready for it, okay? Michigan is an awesome place to be based out of. It's cold and it's snowy and I'm from Alabama and I'm just thinking good thoughts, all right? So let's do this thing. Today, guys, we're gonna be doing a uh, mac and cheese burger with some bacon, all right? Nice, fun, simple way to do it. Easy, 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 we're having people over. Just something kind of different, you know? So let's get started with our burger grind, okay? I have one pound of 80-20 ground chuck going straight in there. This is straight from the supermarket. Nothing special about it, okay? Nice and nice and easy, one pound here, all right? Next thing we're gonna do, guys, a little bit of kosher salt, okay? And a little bit of pepper, all right? And then believe it or not, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of balsamic vinegar in this. I'm gonna tell you why, okay? Because we're gonna be putting, introducing a lot of fat here, okay? But 80% or excuse me, 20% of this burger grind is fat, okay? Mac and cheese, as we all know, not the healthiest thing on the planet for you. And then we add bacon. So what we're gonna do in our burger grind is we're just gonna put a little bit of this balsamic vinegar in here. It's rich enough to stand up to all these cool flavors, but it's got that acidity to kind of cut through the fat. Kind of my little trick, okay? I'll have this recipe posted for you not to worry, okay? About a teaspoon, I would call it a tablespoon. This is good the grills after a while, after all I should say. And just kind of a heads up out there for you guys. We have, and we've made it for you before, our mac and cheese. We pre-made it today. We trust you out there. We know you know what's going on. That recipe is ready to rock and roll. It's the same as we always do, okay? And the only kind of caveat to this as well is I think it would be kind of cool to use an onion roll. So that's what we're doing for our bun today, okay? So something a little bit different there adds a little bit more flavor. I think you don't have to. A normal bun is fine, all right? Now, we're going to mix it till we have this color, all right? We have a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. You can smell it. A little bit of balsamic vinegar, okay? Next thing we're gonna do, guys, this is super, super easy, okay? First of all, I'll get this out of the way. Secondly, we're gonna make two four ounce patties, okay, to equal a half a pound. Quarter pound, four ounces, half pound. Double smash burgers. Double Got smash burger, there you go. All right, so here we go. So we got using just a quarter, or excuse me, a half a cup. Okay, comes out to four ounces exactly. And this is just kind of easy stuff you can do around your kitchen, stuff you're already gonna have sitting around floating there. All right, nice and consistent. Now I've said this before as well, guys, this is something that's super, super easy to use. You're gonna get it with your Chinese takeout, guys. You're gonna get this uh, on any kind of deli that you get. Like if you get something from the supermarket, the deli, like some potato salad or something, it's gonna be the top that comes on it. Nice and easy. It's gonna kind of smash this thing out. We're doing the smash burger before the smash burger, all right? Perfectly round. These edges kind of help, as you can see. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, we got one right there. Let's do one more. Boom. Fill it in nice. All right, turn it right out on here. So mac and cheeseburger, like where, where did that idea come from? This one did not come from me, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, you know what's really funny? I was like, you know, we've done burgers before, we've done this, we've done that. And then, you know what actually I thought about, dude? is I haven't been feeling the best lately, and I always have been eating a lot of mac and cheese. A lot of comfort food? Yeah, and I, I, it's kind of weird, like when I'm not feeling super, super well, I don't want that chicken noodle soup, I don't want this, I want that, I want like mac and cheese. I don't know, I'm kind of weird, so kind of on the brain, just, I don't know, I figured it would work. Right? Yeah, cool comfort food burger, it sounds yeah, like right. a good way to do it, it for me. It really is. And we're gonna jazz it up a little bit, guys, this is still Grill of Grills after all, all right? We got this rocking on pretty low heat. We all know how rocking and rolling this prime make can get, okay? A little bit of oil down here, all right? And these do not take long and they're super consistent to cook and that's why I love it, all right? A little bit of oil down, straight on we go. Boom, one and two. And because of how consistently those things are patted out, they will cook fast, they'll caramelize, it will not take them more than three or four minutes to go all the way, okay? Super simple. Super delicious. Get this out of the way here. All right, guys, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work with our mac and cheese and our bacon, all right? Let me grab actually a cutting board. Switch that bad boy out. Keep things nice and clean there. They're nice, there we go. All right. So now we have our mac and cheese. Again, a recipe at grillagrills.com on their sides for you, the same we always do. Okay, a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, 
remembering that we have this nice balsamic in that burger blend to kind of cut through all this fat that we're going to be using. And then, of course, guys, a little bit of sriracha. we got to jazz it up a little bit. Or any hot sauce that you're choosing, all right? I like to go kind of hard on this. And by that, I mean, like, gnarly. There we go. You use sriracha like ketchup? <laughs> I really do. It's kind of gotten like that in my life at this point. I'm just surprised you're still able to heat spicy things after <sighs> the chip challenge and the caramel challenge. Oh, and the things the that this place has put me through. We do it for you, Gorilla Grills Nation. After, actually, after all of that, let's be honest, there's nothing to this anymore. Yeah, I know. I've been jaded. You've been jaded, too. Yeah, I actually, I used to have a full shelf in my fridge dedicated to just hot sauce. That uh -huh. shelf got thrown away last weekend because I have not been able to touch a hot sauce hotter than sriracha for a couple months. <laughs> it does get kind of gnarly on it. All right, guys. And let's look at this beautiful color, okay? Beautiful kind of caramelization. And again, these things are so nice and easy. They're formed out so perfectly. We're not overly worried about it, okay? These things are going to cook off to about medium in about three to four minutes. Next thing we're going to do, though, guys, with this onion bun... We're going to utilize all the beautiful juices that kind of came off this burger, okay, or off the meat for the burger. And we're just going to get in there and kind of swish this around a little bit. As we can see, that nice kind of fat coating on it. One more time. Really get in there. We want to toast that. Okay, we want to toast that onion bun. The reason that we really want to toast that, guys, is to create a barrier between those meat and all those beautiful juices that come out of it and the bun so it doesn't get too soggy on us, okay? Now, while everything's rocking and rolling over there, we're not too far out. This thing goes quick. It's super easy, super convenient. All right, the next thing we're going to do is take some pre-cooked bacon. Give this a nice chop, all right? Nice big chunks. All right, boom. There we are. Sweet. Sriracha mac and cheese. Cooked bacon. Perfectly toasted bun. That was about 45 seconds. Great barrier. It's going to go on this plate, all right? Now, if you were making this uh, for yourself and, and you wanted to do like the mac and cheese inside the burger, could you do that? Oh, totally. You could totally do like a juicy, loosey mac and cheese type thing. Yeah. You could take both of these for kind of patty, but I just patty them out a little bit thinner. Put that mac and cheese right in the middle. Put that other burger on top. Crimp down the edge of the fork. Cook it the exact same way on the primate, all right? The exact same way. Or if you wanted to use the grill portion or your con or whatever, you could totally do that, all right? These things are ready, because I told you it would go fast. All right. No cheese on this one. Pretty sure we know where the cheese is coming from. We're going to be super gluttonous here today, Girl and Girl's Nation. And we're going to need a fork, because we're not worried about making this pretty. We're going to load this mac and cheese right on top. OK? I mean, I mean load it. I mean load it. We're going to put it right there. We're going to coming out of everywhere. We're going to put it right there. We're not joking around. Okay, get your Lipitor out, people. Make, maybe have some red wine with this one. We're going everywhere. A little bit of bacon all over the top of this bad boy. And there it is. You're over the top. Sriracha mac and cheese and bacon burger with our awesome, perfectly form-fitted patties. Smash burger before the smash burger, four ounces each with our onion bun. Super easy, super gaudy. We'll be loving it that way, okay? Not too bad to go over the top every once in a while. And just remember, Grill Girls Nation, the key to this, whether you think so or not, it's gonna be that touch of balsamic that we put right in there to cut through all that fat. That vinegar is gonna come through for you every single time. Great, great way to look at it, all right? Love you guys on the smoke. Stay tuned. Cheers, everybody.